Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So Gamescom was a couple weeks ago, and I always look forward to watching the trailers of the upcoming games currently in development. There were lots of really cool and interesting games that were teased, but one game really stood out to me. The second it started to play, I knew what it was, and a flood of memories poured back in. The game I'm going to be talking about today is called Killing Floor. Killing Floor has been a game that I've dabbled in since I gamed on a really crappy laptop with a trackpad back in 06. It wasn't a game that was too complex to learn because you had classes that served different purposes formed around providing either support for your team or committing war crimes against experimental specimens called zombies. Don't say that. What? That? What? That? The dead word. Don't say it. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Sorry about that. I meant to say Zeds. But something I'm not really too sure a lot of people even know about Killing Floor is that it started out as a total conversion mod for Unreal Tournament back in 04. From there, it started to gain popularity before becoming its own game that we all know about today. Now, in the early 2000s, tons of movies had influenced development studios to create their own take on the zombie genre. But early on, we really didn't have much to play. Killing Floor stood alone for a long time, and I remember hopping on and playing with a bunch of complete random players and loving every second. It was a simple wave-based shooter that would evolve into so much more over the years. It had led to some of the best zombie games we have today, but something that all these games had in common was the theme of survival. Killing 4 was way ahead of its time if you actually reflect on what made these games stand out. Left 4 Dead, for instance, brought together a band of random people working towards a common goal, all while dealing with hordes of common infected mixed in with special zombie types. Not to mention, adopting something that Killing 4 introduced quite early in their game. Sound cues were introduced to alert the player when an oncoming threat was looming around them and picking up on these cues to relay information immediately back to you, so you can start to think of the best strategy in that exact moment. This changed how I looked at these types of games altogether. Nowadays, things like this are almost commonplace in gaming, but it almost seems to be iconic to me now. Another game I can easily compare to this one is Call of Duty World at War. Not so much for the actual game, but the mini game that you would earn after beating the game. See, Call of Duty adopted the wave-based shooter into its own main title, and while it started out as a small project, it would end up weaving a narrative in itself, one of which I would play through for years to come. But Killing Floor had already done this, from waves of enemies becoming increasingly harder, and buying weapons to help progress into the later rounds, it wasn't hard to see the similarities to each of these games almost immediately. And to Call of Duty's credit, they actually created a storyline that was interesting enough to grab more players outside of the game's normal player base. Even Dead Island presented similarities to Killing Floor. Both have skill trees and pre-built characters with traits, and that is what made me love Killing Floor so much. Having the adaptability to utilize perks to your favor and build your specialist to how you want to play as their role is why I always gravitated back to Killing Floor. And as you can see, Tripwire Interactive made a huge dent in the zombie genre. And as a player who has invested hours and hours into their games, I really just want to thank them for helping influence other studios to create what their ideal zombie game could be. Killing Floor is the type of game that anyone can pick up and identify with almost immediately. Providing a way to play both cooperatively or completely alone, your avenues of enjoyment is all about discovering your favorite ways to play. For instance, whenever I play with a group, I love being a medic or support. Not only is my role important for the team, but it allows others to have more fun and take risks. Whenever I do play these games without a team, I usually focus on fun more than anything. Sometimes I want to blow stuff up and watch giblets fly across my screen in slow motion, and that's why demolitions exist. And then other times, I want to channel my inner pyromaniac and go full scorched earth and watch everything burn in sight. There's plenty of different ways to play, and progressively, the way you go from learning your role to adapting under harsher conditions is what makes Killing Force stand out so much to me. Investing in your specialist rewards them with perks and other bonuses that in turn make you not just deadlier, but harder to kill. Most of the time I would run open public lobbies because having more players jump in mid-game didn't just make it more chaotic, it became more fun. Occasionally, higher level players would join in and help carry me to victory, and in between the waves I would see how effective these players actually were. Usually they would save a couple zeds at the end of the waves just to search for items and resources around the map. This is why I loved running random lobbies in this game. It would often start out a little chaotic, but it would slowly become a true cooperative experience as the game progressed. People started looking out for each other, people started playing to their class's strengths, and effectively everyone worked as a team. Of course, that wasn't always the case, but most of the time it was a really enjoyable experience. Killing 4 rewards both types of the spectrum, and I believe that is what makes it a great game to play alone or with some friends. 
It's a blast to watch your friends get decimated by oncoming threats as the waves get progressively harder, and it's just as fun when you get to take on the final boss as a full team of badass specialists. So when I was watching the trailers that were presented at Gamescom, and I saw the trailer showing off the assembly of a flesh pound, I instantly had a smile on my face. I am so unbelievably excited to play Killing Floor 3 whenever that's ready to come out, and I know what to expect, but I'm also really looking forward to seeing how much they change with this one. I had a blast making this video for you all. And if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyways, I got some more Zeds to kill. My name is Zen, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care of yourself.